No, Abraham. Listen to verses 19 of Romans 4. The Bible said he was not weak in faith. Come on, somebody. He was not weak in faith, and he considered not his own body, now being dead, nor the deadness of Sarah's womb, even after he was 100 years of age. But he was strong in faith, verse 20, giving glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, he considered not his own body. Somebody shout, he considered not his own problem. Man, that scripture has always blowed my mind. The man got so close to God. He, got, he became so God conscious. Come on, somebody. That's what I'm titled this message today. God conscious. He became so God conscious, so aware of the presence of God that he forgot he had a problem. Somebody's thinking right now, and it's stinking thinking. I can smell it from here. I'm going to pull out my faith for breeze. Come on, somebody. Here's what you're thinking. Well, you don't know how bad my problem is. How in the world can there be a place in God where I'm not even thinking about my struggle no more? Well, on this side of it, I tell you, you don't even know mine. So if we got in here and all we started to do is comparing our cares uh, and our troubles, uh, come on somebody, we'd all be a bunch of thumb sucking, belly aching, griping, moaning and groaning. Come on, anybody here, Holy Ghost? Holy Ghost said, Marvin, I'll be through with some of your problems when you learn how to get through with them. Maybe my struggle stays till I can mature enough in faith to allow my struggle to bring me to a place in him rather than be just bringing my struggle to him. Come on, anybody hear Holy Ghost? Look at your neighbor and say, Holy Ghost talking in here. Hey, some of this stuff I've heard for the first time myself. But listen, and others I hadn't. But God says, my, my dilemma is designed, come on somebody, not for me just to always bring it to God, but for it to bring me to God. And if all I'm doing, hey man, come on somebody, so to speak, celebrating my care, all I'm doing is staring at the care, always talking about the trouble, always lifting it up. And, oh, come on, anybody here, Holy Ghost, uh, hallelujah, and that's all I'm coming to God for, and that's all I'm coming uh, to his altar for, and that's the only reason I'm worshiping, uh, that's the only reason I'm praying. Uh, come on somebody, we're missing him, uh, and friend, him, uh, he, uh, come on, the person, uh, his presence is the key to getting him to turn any kind captivity or do anything so maybe God delays doing the thing until he can develop us to pursue him and not a thing things ain't that what Jesus told Martha in Luke 10 oh you're cumbered about me anything somebody say cumbered old sister cucumbered come on somebody Old sister cumbered. She's cumbered about it. Cumbered means she's just heavy laden. Somebody say just dragging it around. Just dragging it around. Old sour, sad sack. Martha, sister cumbered. Come on, just heavy laden down, blaming Jesus, don't you care? Blaming Mary, blaming the church, they don't care. God don't care, the people don't care. Hallelujah, and God would say back, that's your problem because you care too much. Look at your neighbor, say, you can care just too much. First Peter 5 and 7 said, casting all your cares upon him because he cares for you. Notice you cast your cares on him. He cares for you. He not only take care of you, he'll, come on somebody, he not only cares about you, but he'll take care of you. But he says that the, the issue is, is that you cast it on him. In other words, you come to him with it. You come to him, you don't just come and say, Lord, here's my care, and the care becomes the focus, uh, because as long as you do that, uh, you're gonna just keep carrying it away. Uh, hallelujah, and you'll be just cared too much. Uh, praise God. Uh, but God says, if you can learn ever how to cast your care, that's the key. How can you cast your care on him? Here's how you cast your care on him. You start searching the motive of your heart of why you're coming to him and make sure it's not just to come to him to get him to take your care away. 
And if you'll come and say, Lord, here's my care. I've been carrying this thing. Doctors can't help me. Bankers can't help me. No man's able to help me. Lord, I, I've been carrying it a long time. I'm weary with it. Uh, unless a miracle happens, uh, it ain't going to change. Uh, but Lord, uh, uh, as bad as it is, uh, Lord, I come to you today and I don't come to you just because I'm carrying a care. Uh, matter of fact, I throw that at you and I forget about that for a moment. Somebody say to cast your care on him means to just throw it aside for a little while. Throw it down. Put it down for a while. Come on somebody and stop allowing all your time at the altar to be just about your care. Because if you can never cast it, God can fix it. But the problem is we come so often and all we do when we pray is we just hold on to it. Lord, here's my care. And we spend time after time, moment after moment praying about this care. When God says, if you can just come, cast your care over there and focus on me a while. Come on, somebody. Realize I'm the one you should be seeking. Find me and I'll turn your care. I'll turn the captivity. Come on.